so busy day today getting ready to head to jujitsu knocked out some meetings this morning already worked out this morning got that mind body and spirit in just got back from tampa for a couple days and now i'm going to be back on the road to nashville for a few days meeting with a guy that has two books that are new york times bestsellers rory vaden so we're going to be spending some time and then i get to kill two birds with one stone i'm going to go ahead and visit the office in nashville and stuff so that should be cool i'm gonna be rolling with my dude maddie d hello how you doing what's that a little bit yeah yeah you got it we got Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. My man, Kevin, over here after a good training session, getting ready for his fight uh, on the 28th of this month. Dude got a wife, job, family, newborn baby. How old is my man now? A little over, uh, just over five months. Five months old, always in the gym, That's on the mats. Look at him. So, Kevin, how long you been training? Uh, it's about 10 years. 10, 10 years. years. How long yeah. you had your black belt now? Uh, just over a year. Awesome, man. Kevin's one of the coolest people I've ever met in my life, man. One of those, one of those people that you, to know him is to love him. You know what I mean? If you, if you got something bad to say about Kevin, something's wrong with you. What's up, dog? What's going on? Going great. Love the new van. Thank you, my man. Awesome. Let me see the inside. Let me see the inside. That's what I want to see. Oh yeah. It's like a limo bus. Love it. This is like my favorite part of seeing the, the final product. That looks so awesome. How long you been how long you been doing this suit game? Uh, 16 months. 16 months. Yeah, it's been great. Blew, blew up. Yeah, we're doing very well right now. Appreciate all the support too. You got it, man. Absolutely. I love the van. Thank you. Traveling van. 5 a.m. Getting ready to leave the house on the way to Nashville. Looking forward to this trip. Meeting up with Rory Vaden, two time New York Times bestseller. And then uh, heading to the office in Nashville as well. So pumped up to kill two birds with one stone. Getting ready to go pick up Maddie D. Maddie D didn't wake up, so I had to ask the driver to come scoop him up. Let's make it happen. You taking the dog out? <laughs> what you got going on here, bro? Come on, we're we already late. Let's go. Here comes Maddie D. My man Maddie D was uh, running a little behind today. Let's see what he got to say for himself. You can't forget that coffee, bro. <laughs> you ready to rock and roll? Yeah, let's do it. On our way to Nashville. Bumped into my man Dave at the airport just uh, just randomly. Where are you headed? I'm going to get my tacos. I'm up in the American Airlines lounge and dude, perfect. Literally bumped into. Couldn't have done it. Haven't seen you in how long? Years. Oh, dude, it's been five years at least. Really. Right? I've seen you all over the place on this thing, but that's it. Come on. Cruising. Just touched down in Nashville, Tennessee. You know, and those of you that don't know Maddie D, he's in our company. This past year was number one on stage for pretty much the highest level of leadership that you could hold and could do it as many years in a row as he wanted to. If it wasn't for him being unselfish and just wanting to lift up and promote other people and not care about the, the numbers or titles or positions. And uh, so to me, it, you know, he's been in this business now for about eight years and started out as somebody that you know, I would mentor and now is, you know, one of the people that I lean on and bounce ideas off of because I trust his opinion and wisdom that much. That's the grind life right there. Get to the hotel in Nashville, smash some food, make no excuses, get your butt to the gym because we left at 5 a.m. This morning I got up at 4.30 a.m. so I couldn't hit the gym this morning. So we got to crush the gym right now and then we're going to get dressed and head to Rory's crib. Take the stairs here. 
All right, guys, we're sitting here with, with Rory Vaden, New York uh, Times best-selling author of Whoa, Take, what? Take the Stairs and two, and two Times. And Mr. Simon Arias, uh, entrepreneur, successful uh, business owner, both. Stud muffin, both, fantastic dresser. Youngstown both, Times. Yes. Youngstown. <laughs> Youngstown. And, you know, as I'm sitting here uh, talking to you guys, you know, you both have had a lot of success uh, at a young age, you know, both millionaires in, in your 20s. You guys had success and it didn't really take you 25, 30 years. You know, you were able to do that uh, through a ton of hard work, I'm sure. But, you know, in, in under a 10 year span out of college, uh, what advice would you maybe give to someone at that age, 22, 23, 24 years old, coming out of school that can maybe, that look up to you guys that, all right, how do I get there in, in that amount of time? Well, you know, of course, the title of our book and our philosophy is Take the Stairs, and it's about doing the things that other people aren't willing to do. And it's kind of interesting that you'd say, hey, you were successful faster, but really, I think the way that I think about it is, is not just me, but we, you know, at Southwestern Consulting, we study successful people for a living, and we see this, is we, we did the same amount of work what most people would do in 25 years and compressed it into 10, right? So yes. when it's about speaking, like people people often think, oh well, gosh, well, you're really young. And, and it's like, one, well, I'm, I'm fairly young in age time, but I'm very old in stage time. I mean, I spoke 304 times for free within 18 months when I started this journey. And so I've been on stage a couple thousand times already. One of the things that jumps off to my mind is, is finding mentors and that goes hand in hand with can, you know, condensing that 25 year period, like I was able to do. I was able to find a couple great mentors that have been doing this for a while, pick their brain, execute 100% what they told me to do. And so I did it fast because of the grind and the work put in, but also because of the grind and the work that they had put in and the knowledge that they had poured into me. You know, I, you know it's like saying, you can hear people say, if we've done anything great or successful, it's because we're standing on the shoulders of Giants. A lot of people want to make the money. They want, they want the shortcut. They, they want, to want the escalator. They want the shortcut, and it's just like there isn't one. But the, the shortcut is to do the hardest parts of things as soon as possible. To be brilliant at the yes. basics. To Amen. to master the fundamentals, and and to just do more of it faster. You know, I think that kids nowadays in their twenties. You know, if I did anything right which was listening to my mentors, it was acting with a sense of urgency at 22, 23, 24 years old. If anybody was in my life during those periods, 22 to 25, they would say that I already had an old soul. I was grinding like I was 40 already with a family depending on me. Because I realized that it was a small window of my life where it was cool, it was okay for me to live in an apartment, I didn't have a ton of people pulling on me, depending on me. Uh, I didn't have a wife or children at home waiting for me to come home. It was cool for me to bunk up with two other people in an apartment and just straight grind. But this is the advice I give to my own family, young, young, young people in my family. Sometimes people that they like, well, I don't, don't want to do sales. I'm, I'm avoiding sales. For, I've been training martial arts for a while. And it's like, if, if I could go back and do anything, if I'm talking to somebody that's young, training, trying to be a professional in MMA, you need to be good on the ground. I mean, you, you can't, whether you like it or not, you have to learn how to wrestle. You know, you have to be able to do those types of things. Sales is something that will help you in your relationships. It'll help you with your children. You're going to need to sell stuff. I mean, you're constantly, we're in a world where we're always needing to sell people on things. I think but it's, it's just communication. Set. It's yeah, communication. Yeah. Sales is communication skills. It's like, don't think of it as sales. Think about it as learning how to deal with people how to communicate to people and you need that skill no matter what. Thanks, Rory. I think a lot of what you just said was take the stairs. Yeah. And a lot of what I said is grind. You know, right. <laughs> yeah. take Come the on, stairs guys. and grind. You know you're on the right track. That's right. Yes. Rise and grind. Getting ready to go scoop Maddie D. Yoga time. We didn't get to bed so probably after midnight, close to midnight once we got everything set up for the next day laying the suits out, laying all your clothes out, getting organized, and uh, 
one of those five hours of sleep again after catching that, catching that flight yesterday. But it's all good, we're pumped up. Starting that day off with that mind, body, and spirit. We're excited to uh, go see the office in, uh, in Nashville, spend some time with the up and coming leaders and the current leaders, and then uh, hop that plane back to the bird. Getting ready to head in to the office. Let's make it happen. Ready to roll? Come on. Hey, what's up, Cam? What's up? Going what's on? going on? So sitting here with the crew at lunch here in uh, in Nashville, and um, we got Cam. What's up, we got Mr. Haynes. We got my girl Sarah. We got Mackie D. I feel blessed that we survived the car ride over here. <laughs> oh my! We almost hey, got Nashville hit on drivers. The drivers. Nashville drivers. They almost killed us. Come on, man! They almost hit us right on the side. Lady almost murdered right in there. So after I survived this guy's driving, I survived this man's driving. Okay, which was <laughs> the worst. I love him. The worst. The worst driver Don't ever. Believe it. Yeah, yeah. He's doing it all. He's like texting, doing his laundry, I'm he on tying his shoes. I'm I mean, he's like, like this. doing it all. You know what I mean? Almost killing us.